Well, hello there. It's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. Today I have another card for you. It's card number 12 in the Encouraging Cards series. And if you've been following along, you know I am trying to make one card a week and send that out to somebody who needs it. So the products I'm showing you that I'm going to be using are a paper pack I showed you in a haul video a long time back. I just couldn't bear cutting into it, but I finally did it today. And that paper pack is the die cuts with a view called No Problema. And oh, these papers are gorgeous. This one actually has some shimmer to it. This one I'm cutting right now. And um, I'm just cutting some backgrounds and I just loved the color combinations. I tend to use paper or patterned paper for inspiration a lot of the time, but sometimes, sometimes you just gotta cut into it and this is what I'm doing. So I end up cutting this paper wrong, so I will cut another one. I meant to cut it the other direction, but I won't show you that I'm, I'm cutting it again. And the stamps that I'm going to be using is the My Favorite Things Llama Love. It is such a cute set. Now, there are no llamas where I live. I do live in the desert, and uh, but I, I had to get my hands on this because it had cactus in it. And my daughter is in love with llamas right now. I mean, who wouldn't be, right? <laughs> so I'm just stamping out some sentiments, and I stamped one of the llamas, and I'm going to Copic color him. I stamped him onto some Nina cream cardstock and I'm coloring him, or I stamped him with some Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. And I have the Copic colors up on the screen for you in case you are interested in what I used. I did some very simple Copic coloring, and as you can see, my E81 is actually a little low on ink. I need to refill it, but I don't have the refill, and we're on a little bit of a budget constraint right now because we're trying to go visit um, our kids, and, and so anyway, I'm just going to have to wait. So I will use it the best I can and probably try to avoid using it in the future until I can get that refill. <laughs> um, anyway, like I said, super simple Copic coloring. My lightest shade was the E81, my mid-tone is the E84, and my darkest shade is the E87. And all I'm doing is going back over those just to blend those colors out a little bit better. And once I'm done coloring him, I'm going to grab my Nuvo Glitter Gloss Pen here in a second because I wanted my llama to have some shimmer. And you won't be able to see on screen, but he does ha end up having quite a bit of shimmer. Uh, I love the glitter. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself, especially since the paper that I'm using does have some metallic hints to it. So I'm going to trim down my sentiments, and I'm using my Fiskars wire uh, cutter. It has a wire down the center, which helps with the guiding. And so I thought that might be really nice for cutting my sentiments. And then I'm using some Rich Razzleberry cardstock from Stampin' Up. I don't know if they still make it, but I am using that, and I scored that at 5.5 inches. So it is a top-folding A2 size card. And to assemble my card, I'm going to be using my Tombow Permanent uh, Tape Runner. And it's very, you know, it's not a heavy card, and neither is the cardstock, so this will work out just fine, if, especially if I'm fairly liberal with... The, the placement of that. And I figured this paper was just so nice for, I mean, it was, it was like it was set up for a fishtail banner. So I went ahead and cut one of those. And then I will attach that as well with my Tombow tape runner. And then I'll trim off the excess. And then I will consider where I'm going to put my little llama and then how I'm going to place my sentiments. So those sentiments are too dang cute. The one says, hey girl, hey. <laughs> and the other one says, fiesta like there's no manana. Uh, couldn't resist. And I figured this would definitely bring a smile to someone's face. I'm not 100% sure who I'm going to send it to. Um, but I, I will figure that out. And so I'm just kind of taping those down. And the nice thing about the tape runner is it's not super permanent until you really push down. So I don't end up liking where I have the Hey Girl Hey, so I end up moving that a little bit. And then I will place those down and trim down the excess. I ended up covering that pattern paper pretty well, but I do put some in on the inside, so you will see it again. And for my llama, I'm going to use uh, some Scotch foam tape to adhere him. I wanted him to be pop him or her to be popped up. I just, like I said, love those llamas. And so I'll take off the paper backing and then here that little cutie down to the front of my card. 
So then for the inside of my card, I have another piece of that cream card stock and I have it trimmed down to four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm using some more of the patterned paper, basically going to do it just like I have the outside except uh, opposite side. And I'm not gonna put a fishtail banner on this patterned paper. I ended up deciding I just wanted that all the way across. It's just so pretty, so pretty. So once I decide how I want that, I'll put some tape runner on the back of my patterned paper. You're going to see this patterned paper again. It's just pretty. And you know, I, as much as I want to hoard it, I also feel better when I use my products or use the products that I have. It makes me feel like, you know, it was obviously worth the money. So you'll see it again. Maybe not right away, but you will. And so for my sentiment, I have put that on the, on my Misty. That's my mini Misty, and I'm going to tack down. I only want part of the sentiment, and I realize it afterwards, but I made it a little harder on myself than I needed to at this point. So I'm gonna use some rich Razzleberry ink as well. Again, not sure if Stampin' Up! still has this color, but it's what I have, so it's what I'm using. And I'm just stamping part of the sentiment. And then I will clean off that stamp, and then I will move my inside panel over and up a little bit, so that that last part of the sentiment, pardon my head, will be centered underneath. And the sentiment is gonna say, I have a whole llama love for you. <laughs> it's so punny. <laughs> so I realized at this point I could have used a post-it, so I did. And that will cover up the part of the sentiment that I didn't want. And I'll use that same post-it because I decide I want to stamp the llama on the inside as well, just kind of poking off the corner. And voila, he's so stinking cute. So once that's all ready to go, I will use that same Tombow adhesive and I will cover the back pretty liberally and tape that to the inside and that will be the inside of my card. Uh, I did end up getting some rich Razzleberry ink, so I'm using my Mono Sand Eraser, which is really great for kind of sanding away some of that ink. And I am not done there, I needed a little more, so I'm grabbing some of that Violet Galaxy Crystal Drops and I'm gonna put those down on the front. And that'll end up, once I'm done here, that'll finish off this card. So um, if you liked it, I would love it if you hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you did that too. And if you haven't caught any of the Encouraging Cards series, be sure to head back to my uh, page and check those out. Like I said, this is number 12. So I appreciate all you guys stopping in and watching. And as always, thanks for stopping by.